everybody, it's Jen. How you doing? Um, I'm actually going to do a series on this channel. Um, like a cooking series. I was like out today enjoying my day off. Um, and I went and I got a bunch of stuff. Um, I got some stuff that, for our new place. And I got um, a cookbook from Borders. Um, like the bookstore. I don't know if you guys have that where you are. But I got a book from Borders. And I'm like really super excited. It, there, It's this book right here. Um, sorry if it's backwards. I don't know why my thing the Mac does that but um it's hungry girl 300 under 300 uh, recipe book and so basically what it is is it's 300 different recipes made by hungry girl who I've talked about before um, so it's, it's 300 recipes all under 300 calories and I bought the book with my own money so it's completely my own opinions hungry girl doesn't pay me at all Although, um, her name is Lisa Lillen. Lisa Lillen, if you'd like to pay me to talk about Hungry Girl, I would be more than happy to. I think I got it down. Um, but what it is, like I said, is the 300 recipes, and I flipped through the book at the bookstore, and I was like, oh, you know, this stuff looks pretty good. I'll try it. And I'm a super picky eater, like, super picky. There's, like, a billion things that I don't like, like, before Weight Watchers, I like lived on macaroni and cheese and hot pockets and hot dogs. So, um, even though I started, you know, did started doing the Weight Watchers, um, and it's made me more open to food, I still definitely am a picky eater. And what I really love about this book is that it's got breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snack options, quick breakfast, breakfasts that take a little bit longer to make quick dinners, dinners that take a little bit longer to make, all something that you can fit into your lifestyle. You can, um, you know, customize it to how you want, you know, taking out things that you may not like. Um, and the way that the book is organized is really awesome. Um, in the very beginning, she gives recommended products, and it's different things that, like, she uses a lot of in the book um, uh, stuff like egg beaters, um, turkey, pepperoni, um, pre-cooked bacon, low-fat hot dogs, which is actually the low-fat hot dogs that I already use. I was like, go me. Um, different, just different stuff. Sugar-free um, log cabin pancake syrup like who thought you could have pancakes for under 300 calories because I certainly didn't and another thing that I really like about um, Hungry Girl is that she does the Weight Watchers points the book does does not have the Weight Watchers points in it which is one thing that I don't like about it but if you go online to um, hungrygirl.com slash books there's like a link um, somewhere on the website that you can get a picture of every single recipe in this book and she automatically calculates the Weight Watchers points for you. So I think that's, um, that's awesome, at least to me, since I am doing the Weight Watchers. I know not, not everybody is doing Weight Watchers, um, but for every single, um, recipe, she puts the, uh, the um, calories, the fat, sodium, carbs, fiber, sugar, and protein for every single recipe. So I'm going to show you a couple pictures um, for, you, for you guys to just kind of get an idea of what's in here. This stuff is super yummy looking. And I've already tried one, one recipe out. I'll tell you about it in a minute. So look at this right here. These are the Rockin' Red Velvet Pancakes. Um, it's whole grain pancakes with cream cheese on top, and, um, I believe it worked out to be, for two pancakes, I think it worked out to be six points. Um, another really yummy looking thing is this cheesy cherry danish, 
which worked out, I think, giving four points per Danish. Which, look at that. That looks so good. And then, I believe that this... Oh, this is a Ratatouille Fritta. I don't particularly think that looks great, but... It's again, because I'm picky. Um, let me show you some more stuff. This is called the Skinny Elvis. It's peanut butter, uh, toast with bacon, and... Um, and peanut butter, bacon, and bananas for eight points. Look how good that looks. Oh, so yummy. Um, let me show you one, one more couple things. Because I feel like I've just shown you breakfast. Um, give me one sec. Oh, here we go. Cheeseburger Mac Attack is what she calls it. But it's, um... It is macaroni and cheese with hamburger. Like, who thought you could have that for under 300 calories? Like, oh, so good. I think it's like seven points. But look at that. It's so yummy. And then down here is gumbo and turkey tamale pie. I don't know what, what that is. But look at that stuff. Oh, my God. Like, that right there, it just it looks like goodness. So yummy. Um, and I've really liked all this Hunger Girl stuff I've tried. Um... So, the book is sectioned out um, into different chapters based on what is there in the chapter. Um, let's see. The first one is egg mugs, which is an idea that I really like. It's scrambled eggs that you put into a mug and you make it in the microwave. Like, you can't get any easier than that. Like, all of the egg mug recipes take no longer than 10 minutes to make. Like, Everybody has 10 minutes. Um, so she has egg mugs, different breakfast plates, big salad, something called foil packs where you can mix up the ingredients and put them in a foil pack, pop it in the oven, and then be done. Comfort foods is one of the rest, uh, one of the chapters. Um, it, it has the um, pigs in a blanket, which I've tried, which is so good. Um, if you, you watch iCarly or have seen iCarly, which, guilty, she has a I Hungry uh, spaghetti taco recipe that looks really good, beef stroganoff, chicken and waffles, chili mac and cheese, like, oh, so good. International Favorites is another um, chapter in the book where they ha she has egg rolls, um, chicken quesadillas, tacos, jambalaya, and then there's one, my personal favorite, all things pizza. Oh, there's this one recipe I'm going to do next, um, my next video as like my, like the next couple of videos will be a series of the 300, um, under 300, but um, the first one I'm going to do is these pepperoni pinwheels, they look really good. Um, and then just, ah, uh, I... I'm in love with this book already, and like I said, I tried out one recipe, we, or we tried out, me and Z, tried out one recipe tonight, and it was a chicken recipe, and it was super, super easy, it is called the Naked Parm, and it only takes five minutes to prep for the, uh, like, to make it, and only ten minutes to cook, and one thing that I like about the book is that, see here, it it says you will need, and then prep time and cook time. So you will need a blender or food processor, and that's optional. I didn't use one. Um, a skillet and non-stick spray. So what I did was um, you get one stick of light string cheese, which I have. It's only one point for Weight Watchers. And one 5-ounce raw, boneless, skinless, lean chicken breast which um, we have the Purdue Fit package, like individual packages. So I use that and a fourth of a cup of low marinara sauce. And you can use salt, pepper, and garlic powder as needed. So you spice your chicken as you want, put it in the frying pan, fry each side for about five minutes, and then poi, pour, poi, good, that sounded funny. It's not even from like Jersey or anything. Um, you pour the marinara sauce um, you turn the heat down on the skillet while it's still, you know, it's pretty much done cooking. 
turn the heat down, pour in the um, low-fat marinara, sprinkle on the string cheese, put um, a topper on the skillet, let it cook for about another minute, take it off the heat, and then you're good to go. You have one naked chicken parm, and it is only six points, and oh my god, it was so, so good. Like, I loved it, Ziggy loved it, we had it with, um, broccoli and, um, whole wheat spaghetti, so, all together our meal was, I think, like, 11 points, which was in my daily point allotment, and it was so yummy, so delicious, I was so full after, I loved it, so stay tuned for, um, the next series about cooking from me. Check out this book if you're interested. I definitely recommend it. Um, it was a little bit on the expensive side, $23, but um, I highly recommend it. I love it so far. Stay tuned for the series. Stay uh, happy, healthy, fit, motivated. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for listening to this kind of long one. All right, bye.